let's look at the fourth kind of force fourth force will again be a contact force and again will be a restoring force and so it will also be acting inward suppose there's a spring block system like this this is a block and this is a spring now spring is an unstressed relaxed position so spring is relaxed there is no force acting on the spring so there is no tension or there's no stress developed in the spring spring is kept as it is the block is just attached to the spring and it is also kept as it is now what we do is we along we bring the block with to a certain distance to its right suppose this is the displacement x that we have caused to the block now due to that since the string is uh, spring is attached to the block there will be some elongation in the spring like this now spring as the string force spring also will try to bring because uh, you must have experience when you try to stretch a spring it doesn't get stressed very easily you have to apply certain amount of external force on the spring because spring inherently tries to restore its initial original unstressed relaxed condition you try to stretch the spring and spring force applies against you it acts inwards and try to restore the position of the spring and the more you want to stretch the more force you have to apply because it becomes more and more difficult increasingly to break, to stretch the spring more and more there is some spring force in the spring and that force we represent by f is equal to minus kx this is the spring force k is a spring constant k is a constant depending upon the strength of the spring some spring can would be very can be elongated easily because the spring constant would be lesser some spring could be very hard it will be very very difficult to stretch them their spring constant would be higher so depending upon the spring this is the spring constant and this is the displacement that we have caused or the elongation that we have caused in the spring so if there is more elongation if the value of x is more then the value of the force is more this is how the nature of a spring force is so if you want to bring more elongation we have to apply more external force to balance the more increased spring force so this is the spring force a spring force tries to restore the spring it tries to bring the spring to its original position so it is also a restoring force so since it's a restoring force it will be also acting away from the body the block we are applying some force f on the block to stretch it the spring force on the block will be to its left to restore the spring to its original position on the wall the spring force should be to its right to restore the spring to its original position so it is acting away from both the bodies it will be acting always away from the body because it's a restoring force okay so that is the nature of a spring force this is the formula that we will be using for the spring now the negative sign there you must have understood i guess this is force this is displacement force and displacement are vector quantities they both have vector quantities so they both have direction if the displacement is towards right suppose then the displacement has a direction this x although we have not mentioned this vector sign but we understand that they they are vector quantities because force and displacement are vector quantities now if displacement is towards right then if the sign of the you will put this displacement with sign and if you have put it positive then the force if the displacement is towards right the force is towards left then the force have to be towards left so there of course will be a negative sign because it the direction of force will be just opposite to the direction of displacement so the negative sign appears to give the proper direction of force so whatever is the direction of displacement the force is just opposite to it so it's a negative sign along with the displacement direction now if we have would have if we would have compressed the spring instead of elongating it then again due to compression there will be some spring force and spring force is a restoring force 
So what would happen is spring force will try and push the block. Spring force will push the block so that the spring comes to its normal, relaxed, uh, unstressed position. So in that case, spring force will be acting towards right on the block. We are pushing it the block inward and spring force will try to push the block outward. So if the displacement is towards left, the spring force is acting towards right. So if this is the positive direction that we put in the displacement, then the force would be acting in a negative direction, just opposite to it. So that's why the spring force comes with a negative sign. So it, because it is acting always against the displacement. So that is spring force. Okay, so we have learned three forces. First is gravitational force, which is the field force. Next we learn normal reaction, third tension, and the fourth spring force. All the three, rest of the three are contact forces.